Today is a good day. We have just turned up at the viaduct in Auckland. Myself, Milan, and one of the boys, Toby, are jumping on board Savoy, and we're going to Barrier. Fishing at Barrier. We've done a lot of trips on Savoy in the past and had a ton of fun, but this trip's gonna be a little bit different in that we are gonna use the tender on the front of Savoy to go land-based fishing at Great Barrier Island. Milan and Toby are about to get all the gear loaded onto the boat. We've also got the owner of the boat, Scott, coming along, and Scott's bringing a couple of his mates. They're gonna spend the day fishing off Savoy while we're land-based, so. <sighs> I'm really looking forward to this one. Hey, hey, quit it, man. Are you gonna pull me over the boat, man? So that's us. In about three hours, we're gonna find ourselves at Great Barrier Island and uh, load up the little inflatable and the boys are going land base fishing. showed me his belly. Look at him busting up. Kahwa right there. Well, the boys' idea with the jigs didn't work. They did drop after drop after drop and caught nothing. So we have ventured around into a beautiful bay, had some pork roast for lunch and a beautiful salad. Milan and Toby are packing up the gear and their plan is to go land base somewhere just around the corner from here. Have a quick fish. We've only got a couple of hours this afternoon, so we'll get the tender off ASAP. Bring back dinner, will you? Load it full of gear, go for a fish. See what we can find and hopefully eye up a mean land based spot for tomorrow. The boys have landed. Burley's already been deployed. Rods are getting put together at a billion miles an hour. We've only got a couple of hours, so I'm sure that the boys are going to make the most of it. From what I can see from where I'm standing, the water looks pretty clean. We've got an awesome steep ledge, a lot of weed around, a bit of surge. It's feeling fishy. First pilly deployed on an awesome ledge straight down in front of us. Got the drum reel out. Like straight line is a big snapper on drum reels. Oh, Did he eat it? Oh, he's eating it now. Oh, he spat it out. I was too busy focused on what Milan was doing and Toby's gone and hooked the little kingy. I knew it was a good idea to bring you along. Let's <laughs> <laughs> do it again. <laughs> Did you get him? Yeah. Oh, you got one! <laughs> How good? Are you going to come my way? Big snapper, I think. How big? I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully monsterous. Hopefully monsterous. Oh, it's going deep on me. Oh, oh dude. That was oh, a big snapper, bro. First bite. Oh, the hook. Oh. Oh, oh that was a big <laughs> snapper, that one. <laughs> they always are when they get away. <laughs> it was just stripping line, man. Got to stop losing fish. Last fishing trip, all I could do was lose kingfish. And this trip, so far, all I can do is lose snapper. <laughs> I can do nothing to help. All I'm here to do is capture it all on my phone. <laughs> Come on, Marlon. Six hours coming to your fishing spot and then you need all your fish go. It's a big snapper too. There's a big kingfish and a big snapper. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Oh, he ate the pulley. No, he didn't. Yeah, he did. No, I thought he's still there. Oh, it is still there. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, you ate your bait? No. Oh, oh, oh you did that time. You ate it that time. You're in the shit now. Look at the weight to it. It's just a big dead weight. <laughs> <laughs> this little angler thing was a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> it's a beautiful kingfish. Oh, look how fat the thing is. Nah, it is the same fish. It's got that mark on his head. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Don't drop him. Let him go, man. Oh, it's a nice snapper. At least I can catch dinner. <laughs> Not the biggest snapper in the burley, but the first. It's like a little fish bowl now, eh? You should get you a to... GoPro pole down there now. I got the GoPro out, was trying to film snapper underwater, and Milan's gone and hooked the kingfish. Oh, it's all happening. There's a massive snapper underneath him, like I mean a 20, <laughs> even bigger. <laughs> like it was a monster. Scrapper. That looks beautiful right there, man. Nice. Just tell me when you want me to let him go, bro. You can let him go whenever you want. Now that's fishing. <laughs> Everything's going off. Is that the only bait you've got left? Yep. <laughs> oh no. If we had a big bait, we'd get that big snapper, eh? It's just snapper everywhere. We need a car wine, man. We need a real big bait. Toby just plucked one of those sweep out of the burley and, and it's going over hole. Might just make that big snapper feed. The burley trail is so chocker full of these things. At this size, you can't get anything through them. You go a bait down, it can't even go down. It just comes straight back up with 20 of these trying to eat it. It is just insane. Well, that's that. The light is beginning to fade. And pretty soon the inflatable is going to turn up to rescue the boys from the rocks. We're heading back to the boat and I think going on what just happened to us today, the boys have got a bait catching mission in front of them tonight. Catch up, stock up and come out tomorrow with some big baits and see if we can catch one of those big snapper. We've seen an absolute beast of a snapper in the burley, only the one time but they're there. They're there to be caught. We'll be back. Big fresh baits will be the ticket I reckon. It's breakfast time. It's breakfast time, Nato. Are you catching a big fish today or what? Are you getting good audio today or what? <laughs> <laughs> Probably more chance getting a big fish. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I bet he just eat my breakfast, eh? See you later, Savoy. Do you know how to drive this, Marlin? So we are back on the rocks in the same place that we were fishing yesterday. Got up early this morning, had breakfast. The boys did a bit of a bait catching mission because yesterday we were a little bit short on bait. So we got squid, we got piper, we got leftover crayfish for burley. We brung, I think, seven burley bombs. It should be really, really good going on yesterday and all the action that we had yesterday. So here's to an awesome day on the rocks. Today we've got all day so we can settle down, calm down, get our gear rigged properly, put some big live baits in the water and hopefully some big kingies around. There was a lot of kingies around yesterday. And put some big baits in for some big snapper. We saw a monster snapper here yesterday. And I reckon we're gonna catch it today. Some very, very cool live bait tanks around. The boys are looking a little bit more prepared for a big kingfish to turn up today. Check out the size of this piper, all rigged and ready on the Saltiga right behind me, Lan. Sounds like Toby's got more than a bite. I can hear the clicker from here. Big or small? Massive. Big. He's not saying <laughs> nothing. He's so not it must talking. Be. Toby's not much of a talker. <laughs> hey. Beautiful barrier snapper. And the smile, of course. <laughs> the smile for snapper off the rocks.
Is that a bottom fish? Bottom fish. Hey. Oh, Marlin. Whoa! <laughs> now we're talking. <laughs> when Milan has to bow, it's good. <laughs> Talk to me, man. What do you got? I think it's a big stabber. You reckon? I hope so. Oh, oh, dude! Pulled the hook or what? Kind of busted off. I got nothing. You got nothing. So you're not failed. Is that right? <laughs> you're not saying much, man. I think the uh, trace poundage is going up. You come all the way to barrier and what? Let the fish go. You let it go. It's stupid, man. Yeah. Yep. You could call it stupid. You could call it bad luck. You could call it fishing. Or you could call it what I call it. <laughs> Marlin. <laughs> really helps, say. <save. laughs> when your mate's teasing the crap out of you. <laughs> really helps. <save. laughs> okay, I got like five meters of 60 pounds. Five meters of 60 pounds? Yeah. And what did you have before? Five meters of 40 pounds. Are you hooked up again? Yeah, it's not that. Not the size of the first fish time. Needed a bit of a practice though, eh? Yeah. Get one on the board. My first snapper for the day is a good one, but it ain't the one I hook first. Good way to start the day. Got to redeem myself a lot. Oh, what? Gone. Oh, 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 oh. That was instant line losing material. Oh, Toby. oh Toby's Toby getting shot. smoked. <laughs> oh, that looks and sounds awesome, dude. Yeah, I'll follow you the best I can. Oh, it's a real nice kingy. We just seen it busting up on the rocks. Super nice when you can just hold your fish in a big ass live bait tank while Milan goes and gets the camera for a photo. Ooh, that's not a good knot. Test your knots. <laughs> That's why you test the mate. Yeah. <laughs> and you always do your own and never give it to a mate. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? I used to tie all Milan's knots. Now, Rig look, now look what's happening. <laughs> 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 Who needs enemies when you've got mates like us, eh? Yeah. You've got to have mates. <laughs> Little ones playing with the bike. Milan just seen a car wire in the burley and you would have thought it was a 30 kilo kingfish the way he reacted. That's how much the boys want bait. I'll bring up a livey. Such an awesome ledge because normally you hook big kings on mono and you lose them because they just bury themselves but here it's just a big ledge it must be like 30 meters in front of us at least 20 anyway <laughs> oh for the first time ever nato's a bit jealous of the fishing milan pulled a scoot out of the scoot box and he's hooked the big snapper <laughs> oh, and he's got a bow to it. Hopefully my biggest snap of the day. Oh, it's a nice one. Oh, check that out. Whoa, seal! Oh, a seal's just oh, a seal smashing your live bait. Get out of it, seal! Hey, Mr. Seal! Oh, your live bait is completely ruined. Quick, get him up so he doesn't eat it, Toby. 
<laughs> oh, oh, I got it to him. Don't hook him. Don't hook him either. Oh, Mr. Steel, excuse me, we're trying to do it. <laughs> Some days you just got to try something different than casting those big baits and the seal just ain't my car wide. They'd actually want to use for big baits. Put a scoot over, big plastic, something different. See if you can get the fish to bite. Wouldn't be swimming out there like that, man. There's a seal around. Yep, kick it, kick again, kick some more. Nice. Woo! Another car wise turned up, and car wise right now are extremely valuable. But there's so many snappers, that it's hard to get any one fish. Comes the kingy for the piper. Oh, did he eat it then? He did, he ate it! <laughs> That one's coming home. Toby's hungry. The kingfish is getting processed and I just heard whispers that the best bits will go home, yes. But <laughs> some of it's gonna end up snapper bait. And if that happens, then I can see a real big snapper coming up real soon. Oh, nice bait, Toby. That was a big run, Toby. Oh, I can hear it screaming from here. <laughs> Look at the smile on his face. Oh, he's got a double. Toby's got a double. <laughs> what did the snapper eat the stick bait off the surface? <laughs> what a problem to have. I think he needs a hand. <laughs> Stop playing with the rod, Marlon! <laughs> Toby said it was a little one, so I stopped filming, and then that came up. Gagging on a couple of belly flap fins off the kingfish. The boys are starting to run low on bait, and before the best part of that kingfish ends up snapper bait, Toby's going to take the little inflatable. And just out there, we can see a school of kawaii. There's a heap of birds on the surface, so Toby's going to take the inflatable out there, load up on kawaii, bring the kawaii back here, and then big kawaii baits on. What, what number burly is that one? Second to last. Second to last of what? Seven? Second to last of seven, bro. <laughs> second. <laughs> There's a lot of burly going in the water today. That there is how you catch a big snapper fish. Well, if I'm honest, the last few hours have been extremely quiet, but what an insane morning. The fishing was red hot. There was fish everywhere, <laughs> snapper one after the other. The boys are right now packing up. We've run out of burley and run out of bait. Savoy is just around the corner anchored up, so we're gonna head in there. And between here and Savoy, there are a couple of wash rocks. And I have heard rumors of stick baits getting cast at those wash rocks. So between here and Savoy, there could yet be some insane carnage. Oh, Toby. Toby chucked a dead piper over and just left it sitting there and next thing you know he's going I've got a big snapper and I was like nah <laughs> and well now it's like yeah the <laughs> well what was supposed to be like a I don't know 15 minute fishing idea has turned into an entire afternoon other than Toby's massive snapper we haven't seen a hell of a lot so we are heading back into the bay to join back up with Savoy and uh, day done another day tomorrow see you tomorrow
day begin? Today is our last day and given that we've only got a couple of hours to go fishing today we're not going to bother taking the tender off and going land based we're just going to fish off Savoy and today is all about getting a feed we have done our trophy hunting now it's all about food hunting the boys are hungry and we have like five hours to fill our tummies <laughs> live Mr Piper You eating already? Yep. That didn't last long. Whoa! <laughs> Go Marlin! Oh, is it a goodie? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that so funny? <laughs> That's why you call a kingfish in the morning time. <laughs> oh, he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> what were you gonna say? Oh, I was gonna say that was dinner for the boys, but I ain't saying dinner for the boys no more. <laughs> Well that's pretty much our day, dinner has been acquired, well it was pretty easy, we just turned up, put Burley in the water and caught a heap of nice little snapper to take home to eat, so that's it. Nato's <laughs> going to put the phone down and pick up a rod, try and catch a couple of snapper himself, and other than that we've got like a five hour run to get back to the viaduct in Auckland, and then it'll be home time. Another epic trip out to Barrier on board Savoy. It never fails to produce a whole bunch of fun. The boys are smiling, it's all good. Now all we're gonna do is get back to Morrins, we'll get packed up for the next one. <laughs>